Hey everyone and welcome to another drawing tutorial by artincontext.org where we explore various art related topics and in today's tutorial we will be learning how to draw a feather. Now feathers are a really great drawing exercise because they really require um, a lot of attention to detail um, and it's also a great subject matter for exploring various drawing techniques in order to establish this realistic um, soft fluffy effect uh, in the feathers. Um, so that being said, um, let's get started with this tutorial. Now the way in which we want to start is <clears throat> we want to kind of start by drawing the shaft of the feather. Now with feather structures, the way they insert into animals um, is generally with this broaden or thicker base um, near the bottom of the shaft. And obviously as that shaft gets slightly more narrow, um, the feather starts to meet up at the tip or at the end point of the narrow point of the shaft. Now we can draw the shaft in a horizontal fashion. We just want to make sure that as we draw in this line, we're keeping it somewhat uh, parallel to one another. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to slowly establish these segments within the feather. But in order to do so, we first want to draw the basic outline of the feather shape. Again, feather shapes tend to have this um, arrowhead shape or kind of similar to a leaf-like shape. So it's quite broad or quite um, large near the base of the feather. And as it sprouts out, it starts to narrow um, as the uh, shaft of the feather narrows as well. So we will find that as we draw this in, we, we really want to have this like broader base area of the feather and then slightly narrow it down until the two sides um, of the feather meet at the point or at the top point of the shaft. Now, once we have done this, we're going to create a more realistic effect or more disheveled realistic effect in the feather uh, by creating these little segmentations. And basically what this is gonna suggest is that the feather has been ruffled a bit or it's like fallen off as if to suggest it has kind of detached itself from a bird or an animal of some sort. Now the way in which we can kind of draw these segmentations is we want to follow the flow of the feather. So we'll find that we draw these little lines that kind of curve upward towards the pointed area um, or the narrow points of the feather. Uh, these lines we can kind of draw uh, within various areas of the feather. We don't want to draw too many segmentations because um, we kind of want to keep the feather still a uh, uniform and um, still a single structure but we will have these areas where it uh, appears as if some um, little small hair fibers have fallen out from the feather itself. Uh, we can continue this process with a light pencil um, again at this point we can work with both our pencil and eraser to establish the basic outline um, and segmentations within the feather. We really want to take our time making sure that we create this curvature within each segmentation. Again, we want to make sure that as we draw or establish the basic outline of the feather and then draw in these little segmentations, we want to make sure that each little segmentation curves upward, almost as if it's curling towards the top of the feather. Now take your time with this, don't rush this process because once we've established this outline, it's gonna be the demarcated area in which we're gonna draw the little barbs. Now feathers are obviously um, filled with these hair-like fibers and these little hair-like fibers are called barbs. And these strands basically follow the flow or the curvature uh, of the feather structure. So that's basically what we're gonna do. From the base of the shaft running through the entire feather, we wanna basically make these strokes of lines that follow the form and flow of each um, segment within the uh, entire feather structure. Basically what we wanna do with this process is we're going to move along um, the uh, shaft as a means of guiding um, or a starting point of each stroke of line that kind of flows into these segments or flows into the, the feathery aspects of uh, the entire feather drawing. Um, and we can do this along the top of the feather as well as along the bottom of the feather. Something important to note is that um, we really wanna keep our pencil marks light. We can also kind of darken the, the gaps between each segment to create some sort of distinction between the segments or some sort of uh, shadowing effect um, but we also don't want to draw our lines completely through the segments something that is unique to feathers is that the the little barbs uh, collectively create this um, kind of uh, fibrous or uh, carbon fiber sheen throughout the feather so the way in which we achieve this kind of highlight or sheen that runs throughout the feather is by leaving negative space in the middle area um, of each segment um, of the feather 
So simply take your time drawing in these lines with your pencil. Again, the intention here is to really uh, capture both the negative space in the middle area of each segment or in the fibrous um, uh, features of the entire feather structure um, but also try to work on one side of the shaft to complete the line work and then work on the other side of the shaft um, to create those fibrous qualities with your pencil. Um, basically once we have established these pencil marks they're going to be the guiding um, lines to assist us um, as we add in some darker details and contrast by utilizing some pen work. Um, now we can start moving on to utilizing our pens um, to kind of give more uh, detail and more contrast to the drawing. Uh, ballpoint pen works very similar to pencil so we're gonna kind of basically do the exact same process as we have done um, with our pencils except this time uh, we're gonna take our time. Uh, we really don't want to make any mistakes with our ballpoint pen but the idea here is that we're going to start from the, the quill or the base of the shaft and slowly move through the entire feather structure slowly going over those lines. Now again the intention here um, is two things. For one in each segment that we have established in the feather structure we want to draw lines that start from the shaft and flow into um, the, the feather fibrous um, features of the entire feather drawing and we're going to take our time with this we, got, we just want to make sure we make these strokes from the shaft into those um, segments um, again we want to do the same thing from the tips of each segment flowing into uh, the segment itself but making sure that we leave negative space um, in the middle of each segment now with our pens this process is simply a matter of patience and taking our time we're going to slowly work through each segment a good suggestion again um, is to work with the fibrous qualities of the feather, these um, barbs, on, on one side of the shaft, making sure you work your way all the way to the tip of the uh, shaft um, where the feather fibers get smaller. But yeah, man, it's simply a matter of just taking your time. A good suggestion with ballpoint pen as well um, is to have some scrap paper nearby. <clears throat> so, what happens obviously with pens is uh, there tends to be a little buildup of ink and we just want to scribble on that scrap piece of paper so we don't make a mistake. Uh, between each segment, this is a great opportunity for us to darken um, the drawing or darken the, the, the spaces in between each segment. And what this is going to do is it's just going to create more depth within the drawing. You'll see that as you proceed um, with this process, the slow process of just adding in lines on the lower section near the shaft and the upper tip areas of each segment um, within the feather, um, we're going to find that we're going to leave some negative space throughout uh, the center areas of each segment of those fibrous features and it's slowly going to develop um, a highlight. A highlight is slowly going to unfold. We're going to see how it creates this effect of shine uh, within the feather. And this is a really unique quality that we want to capture in the feather. But guys, yeah, this process is simply a matter of taking your time. You basically want to um, just slowly work in these lines. Make sure you scribble on a little scrap piece of paper in case um, you have any excess buildup of ink in your pen. Um, and then kind of proceed to do the same um, drawing process um, with the other side of the fibrous features um, on the other side of the shaft. Some other important things to note um, to give a more realistic um, aesthetic um, or quality to your feather drawing is that the fibers near the base of the shaft or near the quill side of the shaft tend to become a little bit more sporadic in their movements as they become more disheveled and kind of unwind uh, from this uniform structure that flows throughout the entire feather. And this is where we can start to be a little bit more loose uh, with our line work. Um, even at this point utilizing our pens, we can kind of create these little fibers that flow um, a little bit more um, yeah, just like sporadically and unevenly. So if we think about it this way, these fibers kind of stick together and are quite uniform in their curvature and the way they flow along towards the tip um, of the shaft. Um, however, near the base or the quill, those fibers become a little bit more disheveled and unwinded, um, giving them this kind of uh, chaotic flow-like appearance. Um, but again guys, this is, this is simply a matter of taking your time, 
Um, we really just want to make sure that we are working through each side of the shaft, slowly drawing in those lines, slowly leaving, um, making sure we leave some negative space in between, um, in the center area of each segment. Um, but that is it. This process is just a matter of taking your time, drawing in those lines, making sure that you just take your time um, with those fibrous um, features on each side of the shaft. Don't be afraid to also give a lot of darkened line work towards the edges of those um, fibrous features in each segment. Um, as this is going to give a little bit more definition to the, the separation that happens in the entire feather structure and how those segments are formed, you know, and how we kind of define the sticking together of those fibrous um, barbs in each of the segments. But other than that, guys, this is simply a matter of just going through these fibrous features, taking your time. Um, I hope this tutorial was really helpful. Uh, so one more thing to leave you off with, you can add a little bit of shading to the shaft itself. Um, we don't want to color in the entire shaft, but we do want to shade along the edges or the outlines of the shaft running through the center of the feather. But that is it guys, I hope this tutorial was really informative, I hope you learned some drawing techniques um, that can assist you in creating these very soft feathery qualities. Again, near the base we can keep those lines loose, but as they become more uniform and stuck together we can make sure we keep quite a uniform um, line work that runs throughout those fibrous barb like structures in the feather. And then lastly, just to leave you off with something really important, make sure you utilize your negative space throughout those fibrous features in the feather. Make sure you leave negative space in the center areas of those um, fibrous features to establish that shine quality that is unique to a feather. Otherwise, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Cheers.